Okay, everyone. So you will find the video once again. We have the uh, maybe more XP we're taking out this time, and yeah. So this video is going to be this kind of tutorial based based thingy thingy majiggy majiggy thingy, and uh, you'll see how to play this plane. I hope. I mean, I'm not an expert on it, but I, I wanted to make a video around tutorial based one is useful to the community as well. You know, I I, I, I like to think I actually am helping. Most of the time, I'm just making it worse. The tears are rolling down. How to drown? Swim up. Ooh, ooh. It's actually great. I, I quite like that battle. So now, as you can see, we are in alternative history Spain, and you'll get this map quite a bit actually. It's um, it's, a, it's an okay map. Um, I don't really. I'm not really a fan of flight maps, but since you only really play this map on jets, it's better. So as you can see, I am. Going right in, I'm rushing in. I'm. You could also rush, climb with this plane. You could just climb off engine and fly to enemy, then on the engine, shoot them down. But this, the, this is by far the most fun way. It's probably the best way. Like fly conservation and you know fuel conservation and etc. etc. But. This is really the best way to do it. It's the most fun place. I mean, and in the game, your thing is fun. You don't mean, yeah. So a few tips as you start off. First of all, uh, get the millimeters. Uh, are you mostly self? I thought out I'll take a universal out, universal belt, just test it out, and I'll be taking out self for the next battle. For the next episode, wait. Okay, right. Um. Number two, this plane cannot, isn't, it's not an energy, uh, it's energy retention is incredibly low. I'll, I'll just do a simple roll. Lost over 10 miles per hour with this. But, I mean, that's a simple roll, right? It's not, I mean, 10 miles per hour, I mean, better without, but obviously it's just a simple roll. And then you see, uh, I once did a half turn on this, and I lost nearly 200 miles per hour. Like, not, when I say a half turn, I mean, like, I can't, yeah, horizontal turn. And that's the sad truth, because you will be losing a lot of speed in this plane. And the thing is, though, it's got to be the acceleration to regain it quickly. Now, as you can see, we have an, uh, oh, we're not catching that. But we'll highlight him so everyone else can attack him. Now that's probably a bomber, so yeah. As you can see, rushing in already, I'm presented with a target rich environment. First of all, we have an F2H now. If I was using stealth, I would have taken a shot at him, but as you can see, uh, I nearly hit him though. If I hit him, I would have that. Crew montage, right? Let's go. Crew montage, let's start. I've just found the grip, 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 correct music. And then bang, but yeah, we actually have um, an advantage in the night because I'm rushing in now. This guy, he, I mean, he thinks he's safe. He's literally just come out of his runway. He's probably, I don't know, F AFK climbing a bit. Which plane is that? I would think Panther F2H could also be a Venom or Vampire. But as you can see, he, he's here. Uh, there we are. H. This guy's. Oh, I popped up. Send it back in. Bang. Dead. And you really do need to get used to these cannons because, as you can see, I just I wiped him out. Because I know how to aim these cannons and it's just. Yeah. This. It's. Yeah. So what I suggest you should do actually is take out your BF 109s, maybe even the TA 152, not the C1 because it has a, a machine cannon 103, and it's machine cannon, not Mark, and just go with the 30 millimeters. And believe me, you'll get used to them and you'll love them because this is this is great. I I quite love the 30 millimeters. They're probably my favorite oh, enemy. Right, if I had more time I would have uh, probably taken a shot, but unfortunately I don't. 
Now, I do need to return to the runway. Something that is quite actually finding about the... Uh... Ah. Somebody, cover me. Yeah, the, the guy is coming back. Right, turn, 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 turn. This thing can turn. This thing can turn. But unfortunately, sometimes it can't turn enough, well enough. So, what we just need to do is just cover me. I said, okay, right. You probably will be playing with good teams. Cause it's like a jet team, but you do really want to keep your situation awareness high. Luckily, that's MiG 15 uh, distracted them. Let's go for the vampire. Uh, don't go head ons in a. In a What's it called? Uh, oh, that's scary as hell. I'm not going to lie. That is scary. Uh, kill him. Kill him, MiG 17. Oh my god. Oh my. Do you know how many planes that have the exact same like armaments? How that's ridiculous. Why? Like, I... Why? All right. This is sad as hell. This is sad as hell. I literally, I, I, I had it. Like, in the sake, Mick 17. Mick, Mick, yes. Come on, come on, up you go. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Come on. <laughs> Hit it with a lip. Alright. The F2H is not doing for me. There's another pain here. It's time to retreat because I only have 18 minutes of kill left. And this is what you was. It's a defining. These idiots. Thank you, team. A feature of jet battles is intense rage. Like intense rage. You you will be extremely annoyed when you finish. It's horrible. But yeah. Feature uh, something you it's a defining feature of the you also see on the card you can do, which is like the Japanese uh, uh well, I say mess up of the M163 is the low fuel. Six minutes nineteen seconds is it? Which is I mean, you could do a lot in six minutes, but fight a. <laughs> we just got shot down by a P8. But I mean, fight a jet battle isn't really one that you can do in six, uh, six minutes. I mean, you can if you done what I told you through the beginning and uh, you know, climb and then turn off the engine. That's the boring way. I just got two kills, and that is fun. But yeah. Let's just land now. This plane is amazing. I quite like. I mean, some people absolutely hate it. They think it's overtiered. Now it's slightly overtiered because you have stuff like the F2 Saber. As you can see, he was. I mean, if I didn't have my teammates to help me, he would have. He would have clubbed us. And, like clubbed me. Oh, well, us as well. Like, come on now. It's. It's like a. It's, it's a participation thing. You give me support, I make videos. And I, I, yeah. But yeah. He would have. There was there was no way I would have been able to survive that. Weak team, he says. He has Hunter in his team. Hunter, like a legendary plane over there. Serve the British for so long. But yeah, as you can see, I'm going into land. I'm not going. This is a horrible approach. I'm way too far. And something you'll notice about this is that this plane is actually great at gliding. It's actually half decent. Sometimes it's not good enough, and. Uh, I wish I had more fuel. Literally, just one spurt here, like five seconds, and I would have got it. But it's awkward, so. I don't think I'm going to make it. Unless I do this. The hunter is going to club us all because that's. Well, I think it's second fastest game after uh, paying enough of the MiG 17, but. Then again. It's. What I mean? Yeah. As you can see, I'm not going to make it. And that's the sad thing with MUR 63. He got the kill, even though he didn't give anything. You shut up! Look, look here, look here. You, I, you. Okay, right. It's a sad thing. Yeah. Now, tearing the battle rating of MUR 63 is actually perfect. Because, okay, you get clubbed by activating 8 or uh, 9 planes except the Venom from the Meteor Mark 8. And, so it makes sense, the F A5 
and then 25 to see that's you know they probably don't really know I think they're bad and I mean you do get clubs by the hunter and on the 17 15 fingers and the sabers but you do actually fairly often get put into an 8.0 to 7.0 with this plane and when you do it is an absolute package there's I mean yeah it's actually amazing and that's when you know that this plane is actually perfect where it is if you put it any lower then you'll start clubbing stuff like 7.7 .7, you'll be put with the ME262 the Narwhal, the 162 and stuff like the Yak-15 and the Yak-15 is far inferior so yeah I'll wait for back to and then we'll head out yes ah we'll be put into another yeah yes yep so we are now in frontline course I don't know how you pronounce it so I'm going to pronounce it as cool as I can this map uh, air spawn everyone has an air spawn but you have a uh, a significant uh, acceleration advantage as in you can accelerate pretty pretty quickly and also you don't really need to be up high in order to make um yeah uh, yeah although this time i will actually just for the sake of being different and showing you variety in my video i'll show you how to uh, engage an enemy how to play this plane in uh, the boring way as you can see, I went to a 30 degree climb, it needs to be exactly 30 degrees. I'm just going to wait. And wait again. I'm going to wait more. I didn't know why they really put the course. I mean, it's a, it's a small map. And I said I don't really like big maps, but... This is incredibly small, especially for jet battle. I mean, for props, it's fine, but jet battle, if I'm climbing at 30 degree angle, at 200 miles per hour, then it's too slow for me. That's that's unreadable. If I'm coming better than a CL fit. Uh, yeah. So tips for this plane: number one, get familiar with the cannons. You'll be rushing in, and you will literally wreck everything if you know how to lead them. Like as you saw with my F2H kill before, I knew that I need to do just a little bit more. If in doubt. Needs and need a bit more. That's that's the rule for this. And also, in, in, if in doubt, uh, don't shoot. You really need to be. You don't have that much ammo. Those aren't. These aren't. This is, this isn't like a slow firing cannon. This is really a. A what's it called? Uh. uh it, it takes up lots of ammo. It does really take up lots of ammo. I'm lagging a bit. That's fine. Those are fortunately with playing well playing. I think MiG 15s are, if they're Russian MiG 15s, the people will know how to play them. It's. Nope, I'm not going to with you, sir. He, he knows what he's doing, it's ridiculous. But, yep, MiG 9. Easy, easy. See, that was a horrible idea. I mean, now look how slow he is. In doubt? I wasn't in doubt. And the thing is, this is what I mean by clubbing other jets, because the only things really that you can't fight effectively, don't, don't rip these, effectively, are 9.2 jets, and even then again, not cool. and the meteor and the venom thing to that, well, simple to fight. Now, what is that MiG-9 doing? What is that MiG-9 doing? What the hell? Okay. Okay. I don't know whether he was, the problem is this, I'm, I don't actually have a... Upgraded uh, crew. So okay, that's 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 very nice. So now I'm just going to fly to my friends. Emmy was see save me. Up down. Come on, come on, come on, come kill, kill, kill. What? Why? Why isn't he? For goodness sake. Kill. Okay, right. I'm I'm probably not making things easier for him, but I mean I do really need to survive. And overshoot. Where is he? Oh, what? No, I don't want to. Hello, five. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? No. Ah, oh, damn it. Ali, Ah, I. Ouch. Thank God it's parked. Otherwise, I would be dead as hell. Right. Luckily, small maps like Corsair are good for uh, 
for this because, like I said, the fuel supply is limited. You won't be able to do that much with six minutes and also with 120 rounds of ammo. Although I have killed three people before. It was P P80. As you can see, this MiG-9 has uh, made a mistake. He's got in a very nice position. However, he's turning and soon I won't be able to actually... Ah, uh, well. Oh, 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 awesome. Which is impressive. Of course, getting a kill in a Horton, air kill in a Horton is pretty hard because it's been up to it. I mean, I've played with the Horton much, like, so much. It's nearly speeded for me, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, that's impressive, isn't it? For me, anyway, for, like, other YouTubers, maybe not. But, believe me, the Horton is hard to play with. And it's even incredibly hard to get uh, a uh, air kill, an air kill with it. And... Yeah. Make your fingers up. Ah, that was so close. You saw how close that was. But I, I, I think it's. I, I, I know I'm spraying, but I really do want to get him killed, especially a normal one. I've wasted the ammo. It was for a good cause. If I forgot that kill, I would have been epic. I'd have felt really proud of myself, but that's... Why is he using stealth? What an idiot! Literally, sorry. 13, uh... Mach uh thingy, machine kind of 103 stealth is... Probably is... There's no point in using it, unless you want to be stealthy as well. So yeah. Uh oh. 14 Gs. If you are... Clever. Don't ever do... Ah... Okay, right. Don't ever... Rip 14 Gs in your plane. In your ME163. Because even if you don't crash initially, you will crash. There's there's no other way about it. So as you can see, this is the way. If you are low on fuel, don't, don't. I mean, I made this mistake. Ah, nope. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. Attack the enemy. Attack the enemy. Whatever you do, don't. Just go. Just beeline it to your base. Climb to your base. Because then. What will happen is you will actually go in. Yeah, you can glide back to the base, and that is actually how you do it. This plane, ah, it's up as hell again. The big knight is right behind me. Save me, ME163, Gregorian Kirion. But yeah, it's a nice car. I can see the wrong way. I remember once actually. Uh, in this very same map, I was on my T152H, and I landed, but I over, like, I, 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 I over, like, the one way, I went too far. I mean, you know what I mean, come on. Just because my English has failed me there, just for a second, doesn't mean that you can mess around with me, but yes. And what happened was I actually had to reverse back on, like, literally I had to put on engine, turn around. Tip for landing at MA163, don't put out your skin. At least before when you, it, it honestly helps so much when you're landing. Like at the moment, I'm going way too fast. So I'm just going to slow down. You can see, like just a bit of further, I've already got my speed down by 30 miles per hour. If you do a very nice smooth landing, you might hurt your engine a bit and your front, but. You slow down incredibly. You have no idea how quickly you can actually slow down without the skid. With the skid on, I w there was no way I would have landed. I mean, I would have crashed into the trees over there. Can you see the trees over there? No. Uh, past the horizon. Yes, that, those are the trees I would have crashed in. Yep. As you can see, he's using his skid. Someone took some. He just keeps it. Oh, come on, look, just because this guy disproved my point doesn't mean that it's wrong, okay? Well, it does. Um, but only slightly. So, as you can see, to now we just have to uh, uh, mop up, okay? I'm going to kill the red, I want to kill the red dragon. You know why? Because all I was going to take. This guy would attack me and I was going back to my base. I mean, what a snake move. I mean, he, literally, I can hear him hiss from hiss from eight miles away. That is how sneaky that is. That is so incredibly sneaky that if I stepped on it, then it would have been turned into you know, 
Sorry, that's incredibly, incredibly sneaky. Like, if I saw it, oh, CL13, uh, oh. come on now. <coughs> Ouch. If I stepped on, if I looked at that snake, it would have been turned into so hard a stone that. Oh, I don't know. Just really hard stone, okay? Just believe in me. That stone will be so hard that I'll probably. Look, look it's, it's hard to track a MiG 9 and at the same time make a pun so punny that it will make you laugh so much and your jaw will disconnect and fall into it. Ah, ah, perfect bait, perfect bait, perfect bait. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at that, look at that. Oh. And that's exactly what I mean by the machine gun 108. If in doubt, don't shoot. And I was not in doubt. That was that bit was so good that I was most certainly not in doubt. As you can see, me 15 coming in. We're now going to show you how to uh, head on jets. There is a very special way of doing it. There is an aisle that is very awkward. Um, okay, here it is. This me 15 that doesn't want to head on me, but he does because he's now going to turn back in. No, he's going to turn away. I I need help. I need support. Where is okay? At the moment, I am actually dead as hell because there is nowhere I've been able. To get That's of course. Uh, where's the Alpha Take? There is nowhere we'll be able to kill this. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to climb up because I'm going to then conserve my uh, fuel. Because there is honestly no way I can take on that make the team by myself. I'm nowhere near quick enough. My PC dial 28, I can easily kill that, yeah. Although you can also easily kill me, but I'm a small target. You know what else? Small target? That's correct. That's dial 28, I see now. Right on the runway, the MiG 15 is now just circling the runway, which is probably the correct move. However, I cannot just do the responsible thing and go for the R28 because this other MiG-15. Because basically, what happens is the MiG-15, the German MiG-15, is usually the players are less killed because this MiG the MiG-15, this this one here, so right under R28. Into the air. Damn it! 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 I am now here. It's awkward as hell. The AA will kill me. That will pilot snipe me from about 15 kilometers away. That's how dangerous the, the AA is now. Easy turn. Right under. Now 28 approaching. You can go head on with an IL 28. In fact, you should also kill the AA in. Yeah. IL 28 on the approach. Ah, what? I should have got that. The problem with the IL 28 is that. The guns, but the guns aren't good when they're dead. Mi 15 on the approach, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around, turn around. Oh, we need to target, we're not. Here we go, turn in, can't get me now. Just escape. That is ah, that's not good. Problem is, even though it, it doesn't work. That MiG-15, right, let's go, let's go for a last head on, last head on, come on, MiG-15, come on, MiG-15, come on. There's no use running away, I'm just going to kill all the AA and then it's not going to happen, is it? No, I missed. Oh, no, it's so awkward. Die already. I am lagging, sorry, sorry, sorry everyone. I know the lag is actually incredible. But, yeah. So, again, we need to glide back in, there's really... He really cannot win just because. Right. It's annoying if we lose because of the stupid guy camping on the airfield. If that happens, I will freak out and I will punch my. Oh, no, I won't punch him. Lotus position. I'm not actually in the lotus position, but I'm just keeping calm. Because if in doubt, keep calm. Also, keep calm and carry on. See, that's exactly what we're doing. Because there's no need to engage him. We could literally just kill 
Oh, we can't kill the tanks. It's all for this Actually, yes, we can if we use armor piercing 37mm from the MiG 15. I believe I, I haven't actually tested it out, although I'm pretty sure we can. Kill. I'm being targeted. Help! Hit me! Okay, let's think of super target, super strategies, I mean, strategies, strategies, strategies. Shut up. As you can see, I already climbed to uh, 4,000 meters. Uh, yeah, 4,000 yeah, meters. Just a minute of fuel. That's a great demo excuse. Honestly, when I tell you it's great, I do actually mean this is amazing. This plane will. It's. Okay, here we go. This plane is actually superb. I love it. It's 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 a tiny thing, but it causes so much trouble if you actually know how to do it. Like I nearly killed MiG-15. I mean, before I've killed stuff like I have actually killed MiG-15 before in this plane, and I've also killed the Hawker Hunter with my uh, Horton 229. That was incredibly impressive. It was in a head-on as well, and usually Hawker Hunters in the head-ons are the absolute beast because they have the best guns in the game. So. Yeah, as you can see, I'm just gently going to land. Unfortunately, the MiG 15 guy knows exactly where I am. So, ah, too late. Might as well make it obvious, right? Because basically all that happens is the other team guy will know that I'm in the runway and ah, easy targets. Then you get me. Right. So yeah, plenty of watching. Uh, ooh, 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 ooh. The GG guys in. I like that. Okay. So, that is actually impressive because now. People think I'm dead. I'm not. I'm not. Can you see that? Can you see that? It's amazing. But thank you everyone for watching. I, I'll, I'll actually have to pause the video whilst I repair. Okay, right. I'll pause and I'll be back with you when I have repaired. So we're back. Uh, let's see if I can open up the order. I don't know how. I knew I used to an RSM. Ah, not so. How do I do it? Right, so he's probably at his base. What we can do because both of us are incredibly quick at accelerating. Just going to zoom back into the base and we're going to. Do But so we're just going to do Mackin, although he could, because he's Russian. Ah, ah, we found him, we found him, we found him, we found him. Right. Like, he, he obviously, the priority target is the other MiG 15, so let's date for each other. Right, so here's the plan. We're going to be baiting for each other, as you can see, because it will be incredibly hard for each one of us to kill him without the help of the other. So we're going to do some great tactics and maneuvers. Now, uh, Mr. Cocklebutts over here has the advantage on him because he's uh, got energy and energy advantage. Although, something is he's actually winning in the uh, ticket points. But yeah, I assume he does have the energy advantage. Alright, 
He has turned, he has turned, he has turned. Right. He's turning. Now, as you can see, Mr. Cocobots here is uh, don't know what he's doing. All right, I have no idea what he's doing. Uh, go, Mr. Cocobots, go. Uh, but yeah, I have. this because he, he is uh, I and now I'm like okay this is really awkward though because this is this is what you get all the time uh -huh. he's 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 going for the bait he's going for the bait right lads lads he's going for the bait he's going for the bait he's going for the bait all right so now now let's do some super maneuvers here this guy is going to bait for me. I hope nope, he's going ahead on for me, right? I'm not going to go ahead on with that monstrosity. Two twenty-three millimeters and thirty-seven millimeters. Nope, nope. No. This is literally what he's going to keep doing until the tick counter goes. So I'm just going to pause on my fuel on my throttle. Okay, now the mix team is going up, which means he's probably going to he's probably going to turn around. So, with a moment, so what we're going to do is let's get total up, just so our engine is ready to perform. Ah. Uh, What this guy is trying to do is hammerhead. This is basically, you know, the beginning of the video, what I did to that meteor. That's basically what this mix team is trying to do. But since he's so far away, how am I? Uh, that's... Mm. Yeah. Uh, I don't want to land again. Actually, turn off the engine. That's uh, another way you can actually conserve any uh, um, uh, fuel. It's completely turning off the engine like I did here. Now, as you can see, the mix team is actually coming back to us. So, turn on the engine back again. 100% total. Mix team is in here. I'm going to jump into the clouds. So you won't be able to see me properly. I'm in the clouds. Because he knows exactly where I am, but so do I. Come on, come on, speaker box, come on. Yep. No, no. Oh, I think he's he's not going to come forward. Oh. All right. This is our only option left for us. This is amazing. He's just drawing out the game so much, and I hate it. Ah, no reason, no reason, no reason, no reason, no reason. 
right. The thing is, I. Uh, come on, then. Come on, just fight me. Stop being scared. It's. Right. No, I actually do need to go land now. This is annoying as hell. What? Where is our face? So I do actually need to go. So, thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you have a good time watching. And if you did subscribe, like, etc., etc., and I would just rip my plane. Just to show you, this plane can actually rip. It's not uh, comfortable, so I'm just going to do. Turn, 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 turn. Bye, bye, everyone. <laughs>